Hi, my name is George Garcia, and I'm a community manager with Fusion 360 Electronics and Eagle. In this series of videos, I'm going to be walking you through how you can import your Eagle design files as well as your libraries into Fusion 360 in order to continue working with them inside of Fusion 360. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your projects within Fusion 360 and how you can import design data quickly and easily. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to let you know is that I'm assuming that when you're coming into Fusion 360, the first thing you're bringing in is your design files. It's not a critical assumption, but just letting you know that that's what I'm assuming here. I'm also assuming that you've already created the recommended libraries and trash projects. So the projects are very important within Fusion 360. A project is the lowest object or the base object that you can control access to. What does that mean? Well, it means is when you've given someone access to a project, you've given them access to everything within that project. So coming from Eagle, if you're used to having all of your designs in separate folders within the same projects folder, that's not going to work here in Fusion because what's going to happen is you're going to stick all of your Eagle designs inside of one project inside of Fusion, and then you're not going to be able to have granular control over who can see what projects. So keep that in mind. The recommendation for Fusion 360 is to create a separate project for each design. That way, if you're collaborating, you have complete control over what projects your collaborators can see. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to click on New Project, and I'm going to call it Import into Fusion 360. Now I go into my project, and what we're going to do is going to click the Upload. And the Upload dialog now allows us to select the files. We're going to go ahead and browse to them. See, it's in my Eagle projects, or likely yours will be as well. You select both the schematic and the board, and you say Open. So they show up here in the dialog. You click Upload. And Fusion Electronics is smart enough to tell that these are electronics design files. So what it's going to do is going to let you know that Fusion can group them and create the electronics design for you. So generally, you're going to want to have it create the electronics design file. One big difference between Fusion 360 Electronics and Eagle is that in Eagle, as long as the files had the same name and were in the same directory, then they were automatically linked. The downside of that process is that Eagle could never have more than a one-to-one -one relationship. It was always going to be one schematic to one board. Within Fusion, by making the link explicit using the electronics design file, we're setting up the infrastructure so that in the future, we can have a many-to-many -many relationship. So you could have one schematic and break it out into multiple boards. Or you can have multiple schematics that then go into one board. So that's the future. That's kind of the, the end game of setting up an explicit linking file. But when you bring them in, you don't have to worry about any of that. You simply leave the Create Electronics Design option checked. And you hit OK. So at this point, you'll notice that in the data panel on the left, within our Import into Fusion 360 project, I've imported my design from Eagle. And what you're going to notice is instead of two files, you have three. Remember what I was mentioning about the electronics design file? And when you're opening the design, you're going to want to always open it using the electronics design file. And it's pretty easy to tell which one it is because it doesn't have the preview of the schematic and the board that the other two files do. So you just double click it. And when you do that, you're going to see that the schematic opens, the board opens, and you'll also have the electronics design file. This file is also responsible for linking the 3D PCB. So it does more than just link the schematic and the board. So at this point, we have our design open. I can go and check it out. You can see everything that you had in Eagle is here. When you're doing this, you can repeat this process for as many designs as you want to bring into Fusion 360. Remember, create a project for each individual design. That'll make sure that in the future, if you ever need to collaborate or share the project with others, 
you're not giving them access to all of your projects. And when you're going to import your files, you want to select the schematic and the board together. And Fusion will be smart enough to link them and by default create the electronics design file if that's what you want to do. In the next video of this series, I'm going to show you how we can check what libraries are being used in our design so that we can figure out how we can update our design accordingly. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you on the next one.